Well, we are here today at 8 Seabrook Landing Drive in Hilton Head Plantation. It's a beautiful plantation style home. Uh, brick, roof looks great. I mean, period, yeah, the shutters are perfectly done. I love good shutters. I think those of you all that have watched me in some of these videos, you know, the hardware being done on the shutters is, to me, just one of the nicest touches to a home. Um, it's the first thing I see and notice when I kind of walk in. Um, pillars all look good. My God, there's not a mud dauber nest out here. Um, you almost always have them in there somewhere. So, yeah, you wanted to do a little hint blue on the beadboard. Might be a nice touch there, but... Come on in. This is a beautiful home. Uh, really, really nice entryway. Great chandelier. Really nice height in here. As you walk in, you have um, really get great bedroom separation in this house. I can't really talk, um, but what a nice job of doing the tray ceiling great crown molding work throughout um chair rail very nice formal dining area um really nice entryway a little coat closet here um whoa for those of you all that have seen some of my last videos you know that my gimbal here is dying, um, if not already dead. Great open, kind of open concept before it was open concept here. Um, we'll come back to it. Uh, the first two bedrooms are kind of a Jack and Jill. Really pretty, nicely constructed. House feels great, by the way. The floors are just... They all feel fantastic. Shutters on all the windows. Really nice detail through the through the bedrooms. Nice bookshelf built in. Very updated bathroom. Looks great. Very similar bedroom. Nice little reading nook, if you will. Kind of looking out back here. Should be plenty of space to put a pool in if somebody wanted to put a pool in. Nice vaulted ceiling in here. Little something right there on the ceiling, but it looks dry. Nice transition. Those floors aren't the same, but they look it. We've got the heart of pine, wide plank, heart of pine throughout the living area down here. Um, great height. What a comfortable living area. Love the. The baseboards in here. Great built-ins. I mean, it, it's been, love the fireplace. As you all know, I'm a sucker for a fireplace. Um, that's a pretty nice one. If we kind of look through, the kitchen is fantastic. Um, just great kitchen. Love the Butcher Block Island. Love the informal dining. What a great breakfast nook that is. Neat little, neat little detail, ceiling detail work right there. Again, this door heads out into the formal dining. And one of the bigger closets I've seen in a long time. Some people would call this an extra bedroom. 
that's a joke. Love the, the pot racks in here. Pretty, pretty kitchen. Skylights look fantastic. That is a laundry room. Again, about the size of a brand new bedroom. Um, your garage, two car garage. Done the enamel flooring. Doors are great looking doors. They just may have a little, we'll take a look at them from the exterior, but a little wear and tear on the base of them. They may be handmade. Just some, some nice storage in here. But yeah, two full size. I think I can fit both of my, I think I can fit the the silver, the big silver bus in here. So we have two bedrooms on that side. We're going to take a look at the third bedroom. Beautiful hand crafted craftsman door here. Kind of heading in here. I mean, this could be, you know, this could always be a bonus room. I think it would make a great in-law suite, if you will. Really nicely done. Fun little door heading into the attic up here. Water heater looks new. HVAC looks in good shape. Really neat bathroom. A lot of built-ins. Great kind of walk-up shower. Well, we're getting a little squirrely. I wondered if this was going to happen. But that is all wooden tile in there. So it's a tile. It just looks like wood. But... Really, really nice. Love the love the inlays. Great bathroom. And then one of the neat things, they've done a great job again of using the space. You know? I mean we're we're up here. They have turned this into a huge closet. And then we have more space. And this is kind of one of those things that if you needed it, man, I mean, this would easily be finish offable as a, you know, with a passway through here, usable as a, another part of the house. Uh, maybe even a guest room over there. Not a guest room, but a kind of a, sort of a playroom but man you've got all sorts of space up here and in this in the attic pretty incredible all spray foam great use of great amount of unused potential in there so Neat built-in book or drawers and shelves there. Nice height in here. Really neat room. Great little powder room. Little caulking. 
could be done around the trim in here, but my gosh, that's about the first thing I've seen. Love the detail around the doors. Like I said, one of the biggest laundry rooms I've seen in a long time. Little desk area here. Um, top load washer, those are nice. Good natural light in here. Love the iron board in the wall. For those of you all out there that don't know, I'm the one that does most of the laundry in our house. Actually, we both do a lot of the laundry. Um, in my house, we just can't figure out how to how to get it to the to the bedroom. So there's one little spot right here that has a little dip. Not really. Not much of a dip. I'd be splitting hairs right there. Um, last thing we're going to see inside is the master. Really nice, great master. They did such a nice job with this house. Little, little sitting window here. Desk in here. Great spot to put it. Um, it's kind of unassuming. It's out of the way. Very easy. Um, and then you come into the bastard bath and a little water closet. Just very clean. You know, I like the, I like how they did the, um, kind of partitioned it off and segmented it. Really nice. Very clean. The only thing I can't, the top of that might be missing a piece of trim. Yeah, very clean skylight. Nice shower. Really nice size walk-in. Again, the closets in here, the built-ins are just amazing. Uh, they definitely did a lot of custom work um, in here. So, think they did it well. Love the the doors heading out here. I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to walk around outside.